Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Probability and Statistics. Uh, right here, we have a problem that's going to need Bayes' theorem. <coughs> so what we have, uh, go ahead and read the problem, uh, or go ahead and skip ahead 30 seconds or so while I kind of run through it. I underline the stuff that really matters. Uh, we've got 1% of legitimate users originate calls from two or more metropolitan areas in a single area. 30% of fraudulent users originate calls from two or more metropolitan areas. And the proportion of fraud, uh, fraudulent people uh, to uh, for legit people is 1%, so, uh, or 0 0.01%. So uh, if you're trying to find the same user originate calls from two or more metropolitan areas in a day, what is the probability that the user is fraudulent? So the difficult part about this problem is really the fact of trying to lay it out and define how uh, these how the probabilities are supposed to be. So you're going to have conditional probabilities. So we'll start with the easiest one. So the probability of two plus calls, we're going to say t is two, two or more calls, given fraudulent is equal to 0.3, which is 30%. So fraudulent, 30% uh, of fraudulent users originate calls from two or more metropolitan areas in a single day. So given two or more, 30% uh, are fraudulent, which is equal to 0.3. So that's how, it's, it's tough to interpret, and it really just takes a lot of practice to just learn how to do that, so I don't have any tricks for you, but that's basically how to do that. So then, this is, you need to keep this within two events, so the probability of two or more calls given not fraudulent, or in this case, legit, is going to equal <clears throat> 0 0.1. 0 0.01. 0 0.01 because it's 1%. Okay, and then the probability of fraudulent, just generally, is equal to 0 0.0001. So that's the 0.01%. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Hopefully you have that down. Okay, so we're looking for uh, if this end user makes from two or more metropolitan areas in a single day, what is the probability of the user Fraudulent. So the probability of being fraudulent given two or more calls. This is what we're looking for. Now, there's no real concrete way I can say for you to be able to use Bayes' theorem, except if you're given a bunch of probabilities, a conditional probabilities, then you probably have a pretty good chance of having to use Bayes' theorem. Um, but right, or you can just look at the equations and say, oh, well, I'm, I have this, I have this, I have this, and I need this. Well, those all are included in Bayes' theorem. And I'll actually show that to you. So, Bayes' theorem generically is the probability of E i given B is equal to the probability of B given E i times the probability of E i all over the probability of B given E i times the probability of E i plus the probability of B, well, this is E1, sorry, E1, probability of B given E2 uh, times the probability of E2. And this is a, a basic, uh, the, the multiplication rule, I think, is what it was from earlier semester where you probably learned this, uh, this basic layout down here because this, these two probabilities of how these variables line up so that they kind of cancel and you do the probabilities that you need. I'm not going to go into the details of that. But uh, this goes on to EI, so on and so forth, keep on adding up. But the requirement is that E1 and E2 and so on and so forth are mutually exclusive and exhaustive which means that there's absolutely no overlap between them. Which we can see here because we have either fraudulent users or legitimate users. So it's a very black and white one side or the other uh, setup. So you know you can use Bayes' theorem from that. That's one way to tell. Um, and it's... <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, that's one way to tell there. And you also... You know that you have two events that can be... Con well, yeah, that's the only thing I have. There's nothing else to really say there. But these two, F and F0, are mutually exclusive because they don't overlap anywhere. And exhaustive because they fill up the entire probability space. Because there's no kind of half-fraudulent users anywhere.
So that's really how you define Bayes' theorem, actually. I said there was no way to tell, but there actually is a way to tell. If you can tell that the events are complete opposites of each other, then that's fine. If you have three or more events, then it's a lot harder to tell. But anyway, going on with this, the way to define this out is we're going to do the probability. We can just line up these variables right here to figure out where they go in this equation. So the probability of f given t is equal to the probability of two or more calls given fraudulent times the probability of fraudulent all over the probability of two or more calls given fraudulent times the probability of fraudulent plus the probability of two or more calls given not fraudulent or legitimate times the probability of not fraudulent. Okay, and if you put in these values, we have the values for all of these, so the probability of t given f is equal to 0.3 times probability of f, 0 0.0001, all over the probability of t given f, which is 0.3 again, times 0.0001, plus the probability of t given not f, which is, oops, Maybe I should get this up where you can actually see it. So 0.3 p of f, 0 0.01 p of f, and then again down there, plus uh, probability of t given f, 0 0.01 times the probability of not f. And not f is just uh, the other half of this. So probability of f not is equal to 0.9999. Right there. So probability of legitimate is this, probability of fault uh, fraud is this. So 0 0.9999, which is equal to 0 0.003. And that's your probability of a user being fraudulent given two or more calls. So hopefully that helps you a little bit on how to use Bayes' theorem. Bayes' theorem. Uh, basically, it's just really a matter of practice a lot. The hardest part is actually just defining these up here, and it can be difficult uh, reading the question and pulling out what the probabilities are. But hopefully I've made that a little bit clearer for you of how to tell how to do that and uh, how to do based on